Hello to you. This is Jax here and today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on followers on your Facebook profile. This is something that's optional. Facebook allows you to have followers or not, but we would definitely suggest if you have um, a business and you're using your profile for attracting leads, then you definitely get this turned on. So I'm going to show you now exactly how to do that. So the first thing is you go to the blue bar at the top, far right hand side, and just click on the little down button. OK, now this opens up your whole list of things you can do. Run down to settings, click settings, and then on the left hand side over here, you've got various options. Now, the one you want to use for followers is public posts. Um, Facebook don't call them followers now in this kind of back office here. They do actually on your profile, which we'll see in a minute. But here you want to click on the public posts. So click on that. Now in the center here where it says public post notifications, let me click edit. This is where you have the choice to turn them on or off. So you've got three choices, public, friends of friends or nobody. For the purposes of business, I would definitely suggest you have public. And once you've chosen that, if you go up to the top section, um, who can follow me, you'll see there is another option here. You can do friends or you can do public. All right. But basically, public's the one you want because you want as many people as possible to be able to follow you on your account there. Um, OK, so that's that. Now let's go back to your profile because I want to show you where you can see your followers to come up. So if you go back to your profile and click on friends, all right, you have some options here. If you click on more, you get a little drop down. Oh, there's Robin. Hello, Robin. Um, if you click on followers, this gives you a list of people who are following you. Now, what's, it goes alphabetically. What's interesting enough here is you can see people I am not following, but people who are following me. OK, so you actually have the option to follow people when you're looking at their profile without becoming a friend. So I can't see that on my profile, obviously, because um, I can't follow myself. But if you're looking at new profiles, you have the option to follow people. So you can do that instead of sending them a friend request if you want to do that in an instance. And we do cover some of that later um, later in the trainings. So what's the difference between friends and followers? Well, if you send someone a friend request, then automatically you will follow them and they will follow you. That means that you can see each other's posts in your news feeds. So you're only allowed to have 5,000 friends on Facebook. So if you're using your profile for business or as we're using it here as a branding place to then lead people to your business, in that situation, you want as many people um, to be able to see what you're doing as possible. And that's why you should turn followers on, because you're only allowed to have 5,000 friends. And equally, if there are some leaders that um, you're interested in following and they've got more than 5,000 friends, then you can't friend request them or you can, but it comes back with an eat all and that's it. So, but what you can do is you can follow them. So the following is really a button that means that you can increase your audience way beyond the 5,000 uh, friends that you're actually allowed by Facebook. So that's it for today. So get straight into your profiles, straight into followers. And if you're not turned on, then get turned on and leave a comment under the video so that we know that you've seen this and you're all set for your huge audience, which will shortly be following your Facebook profile. All right, guys, good to talk to you. Hope that was helpful and see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.